go to Tyler. Tyler is definitely like the most like authentically Catholic diocese in Texas. And I would move there if I could, but uh, I'm more of a central Texas guy at the moment. I do like East Texas a lot. I'd like to have a ranch in West Texas one day, but who knows if that will happen. But uh, yeah, no, it's a great state. Is that state. like the real cowboy lands over there? Yeah, so it's like there's some, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, memes and comedy about like the different parts of Texas. But it's like if you're looking at Texas, if you will, East Texas, it's all like deep south redneck culture for the most part. Redneck, like cowboy rednecks. So like when you go over to like Athens, Palestine, Mount Elba, Tyler, it's all going to be pine trees. It's going to be good old boys with their trucks driving around everywhere, right? Um, mm -hmm. You'll see a lot of uh a lot of beautiful not just forest life but a lot of rivers and things like that's very pretty culturally it's much more like louisiana mississippi um north texas is honestly in my personal opinion pretty ugly <laughs> because it's and and maybe it's only because i've only ever really seen the highway sections as i'm driving to oklahoma um but it's just you know very flat dallas is an absolute nightmare any of you guys who live in Dallas, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, it's just like you get on those highways, you're like, wow, six lanes on each side. Like, this is insane. That's crazy. Um, yeah. And then West Texas, so like the Panhandle, that's where I was actually mm -hmm. born. I was born in Lubbock. And it's just flat out there. There's nothing but dirt and tumbleweeds and more dirt and dust storms and more dirt. <laughs> um, and it's just... Yeah, it's kind of barren, but it's not bad. Culturally, it's extremely conservative. All of Texas is fairly conservative, but West Texas is extremely conservative. Actually, uh, King County, Texas has like a population of, I think, like 150, and it is the most conservative county in America. I remember that when President Obama ran for uh, his second term, he only got five votes in the entire county. Oh, my um, goodness. Because it's so conservative. Like, I mean, it, and I think they have like one small town or something in it. South Texas, it's all, you know, just kind of more grasslands. That's where my ancestry comes from, the King Ranch. And then Central Texas, you know, you got most of Central Texas is fairly red. You have a lot of the beautiful rolling hills. It's the hill country of Texas. But when you get around I-35, you run into what we call the People's Republic of Austin, which is very much so not conservative. It is uh, trying to be the envy of San Francisco by having even mm. more homeless and more needles on the street, and more human feces, and more corruption. Mm. They keep building more homeless shelters, and those don't work, so they allow, like, open tenting. But then, you know, they take over the parks, they take over all the underground bridges. I've even been attacked in my car by the homeless just, oh, like, driving. Oh, my goodness. And Yeah, uh, I think we would see more fire. of that here in Minnesota if it wasn't so cold. I mean, mm -hmm. we would. We would see more of that, I think. Yeah, it's crazy. And so thankfully, Austin has a little bit of sanity. They actually ended up banning open tenting one year after they <laughs> said okay with it. Um, but it's still a nightmare because it's barely enforced. And so if you guys are coming to Texas, anyone comes to Texas, check out everything but the last thing and you would have seen a good thing. And of course, you got the Alamo. You can't get much better than the Alamo in San Antonio. Maybe this is aging me a little bit, but every time I hear Texas... I think of Alabama, like the, the band, the old oh. country band. If you're going to play oh. in Texas, you got to have a fiddle in oh. the band. Yeah. I was thinking <laughs> you ever that. No, I thought you were talking about like the Texas Alabama football rival. No, that, that is, guitar is hot. I'm not a sports person, but like that is a serious rival. People go insane for that. But yeah, it's understandable. Texas has a lot of cool, it's, it has a lot going for it. So, I mean, there's a lot of great states out there, but. I really do think that there's just something about Texas culture because you kind of have the the blend of like Southern politeness, but then also like Midwestern kindness together. Oh, that's a lie. Midwestern kindness is not real. I don't know. Well, maybe in Minnesota. <laughs> I'm talking about like Kansas kindness. You know? Maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe Kansas. I don't know. Minnesota is like Minnesota passive aggressive. Anyone who's from Minnesota knows what I'm talking about. Minnesota nice is a lie. It is Minnesota <laughs> passive aggressive. Um, <laughs> so like people from Minnesota, when we go down south, we're like, wow, people are so nice here. They're so considerate and they're so happy and joyful. And it's just totally different. Um, mm -hmm. 